My women have perseverance. They are full of hopes and fears, full of heartache, a longing too strong to be quenched. My women have grand always thinking. It's been 30 years that I've been painting, but um, since my main trade was something else, I used to be a dentist for 19 years, I didn't have enough time to paint as much as I wanted to do. But since I came to US, um, I, my mind was already set to kiss dentistry for good and it was a good time to follow my real passion. So I devoted all of my time for doing painting. As far back as I can remember, portraits have always been a focal point in my artistic career. But gradually, my focus turned more toward portraits of women. Um, as you can see, um, their bodies are simplified and not made to be accurate anatomically. Um, muscles, breasts, or um, their, um, their clothes, everything is ordinary, but except for the eyes. Um, their eyes reveal a truth. Um, and I hope that um, visitors can get these things in their eyes, the soul, their souls, their realities. Um, each of my women has a piece of jewelry. I try to find something to add to my paintings um, in common to symbolize beauty and unity. I picked some countries randomly, but in my mind there is no um, boundaries, no countries. As if you read my stories, my short stories um, that captioned for each um, woman of my collection, um, mostly they are immigrants or their parents are immigrants. So there is n not there is no specific um, reason for why I picked specific countries but uh, in my mind I just wanted to show that we are all women, women around the world and I try to pick something in common like um, earrings, piece of jewelry that can be the symbol of beauty and unity. Um, as myself in sad days or happy days I used to wear a piece of jewelry like earrings and I think all around the world um, women like to use something like this. So that's the reason I add some jewelry to all of my um, women in this collection. When I was a kid, I used to ask a lot of questions from my mom about all the matters. But the main question was, what if, if I was born in another country like Africa and I was in bad um, socio-economic situation? And my mom answered in her own way, but these questions always was, um, you know, um, involving my mind until um, I think I rem I, I'm not sure but it was 1993 or 94 that I read in my um, um, text, my dent dental text that um, in uh, Ethiopia 75% of um, people there suffered from um, hepatitis and um, six months after my mom was diagnosed with hepatitis C um, due to some infected blood that in Iran um, they used for uh, cancers, uh, people like my mom. So my mom was one of that victims. At that time, that country was, you know, one of my main concerns about thinking about their women there. So maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe the main reason that my first and second women in this collection both are from Africa, one of them from Ethiopia, the other one from Nigeria, is that story about the things that I explained, like hepatitis, my mom, 
my child my childhood and the questions in my mind so I started with Africa all the books that I've read all the movies that I watched they are all were source of my inspiration for this collection but mainly I think my mom and my dad in two different um, ways uh, was my uh, inspiration and the person that encouraged me to paint is my husband he always encourages me for doing this and support me even he started to um, make canvas for me the first canvas in the US that I painted um, he made it for me and I really appreciate it